Hello, this is Tom Brown with uh, Fix It Now. Uh, today I'm going to show you a technique that's been described on the internet before, but we're gonna we're gonna show you uh, uh, live how it works. Here I have a, a steel garage door, and I've got a dent right here. It may be a little bit hard to see, but this is dented in right here, and there is no crease in it, which is uh, a, a very this means that this technique should work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I've got a heat gun and I've got an air compressor and I've got a block of wood and a rubber mallet. What we're going to do is we're going to heat this up and then blow compressed air on it and, and, and put a little bit of pressure on this and this thing is supposed to pop out. The theory is that metal like this steel or aluminum has some memory and it will pop back into its original position, especially if there are no creases in the dent area. And in this case, there are no creases. So here so I've got my Chicago uh, electric uh, heat gun. It's a 1200 watt heat gun. And I'm gonna probably put this on high at first and I'm gonna uh, go over the spot with it. Then I'm gonna use my compressed air to really cool it very quickly. And at the same time, urge it on with a block of wood. Here we're heating it up. This video is about garage door dent repair. The tools we used were a heat gun, compressed air, a rubber mallet and a board, either 2x4 or 2x6. The process steps we used, we heated the area, then we rapidly cooled the area with a compressed air, and we pounded out the dent with the board and the rubber mill. We repeated this process over and over again until we got maximum improvement. This picture shows the final result of our efforts. It's a little difficult to see in the picture, but trust me, when I back out of the driveway now, I cannot notice the dents in my garage door. So this process works. It's not perfect, but keep uh, repeating the process steps until you're satisfied.